Hey world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math freebie of the week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week we will practice a specific question type. And if you know that you need more practice after today's video with the skill that we work on today, you should totally check out McCarthyMathAcademy.com. Check out Taking on the Best for a lot more videos to help you get better with your math skills. All right, so are you ready for the focus of this week's video? Okay, the question type that we are going to focus on this week is drum roll. Editing task. Let's not waste any more time on my fake watch. Let's go ahead and get to it and let me teach you. All right, fourth grade, here is your problem this week. So go ahead and pause the video and throw down your very best effort. Give it your best shot. And then when you're ready, come on back to check your work. Fourth grade, welcome back. So let's go over this. It says that Joe is scheduled to babysit for six hours. So far, he has completed two and one fourth hours. Complete the statement below to represent the scenario. So let me just make sure I've got it. We've got somebody named Joe who is scheduled to babysit for six hours. So we know the total amount that he's going to babysit for is six hours. And so far, he's completed two and one quarter, or two and one fourth. So the way that I'm imagining this is like this. So far, he's completed six hours. I'm sorry, so far he is scheduled to complete six hours and he has completed two and a quarter so far. My guess would be that we are trying to figure out what that other chunk would be. So let's read. Complete the statement below to represent this scenario. Joe still has how many hours to babysit determined by the expression of uh, subtracting, addition, or multiplying those two numbers. Okay, so yes, we know the total is six hours that he's scheduled to babysit. We know so far he's completed two and one fourth hours. And it says here, how much does he still have to complete that would be determined by this right here. So basically we know part of what he's completed. We know the whole that he's trying to get to, six whole hours, and we're trying to figure out the missing part. This is called a part whole huh? problem, okay? Part whole and we're trying to figure this out, which means what operation are we doing here? Are we subtracting, adding, or multiplying? Yeah, we're subtracting. We're subtracting the total, which is how many hours? Six minus how much he has completed, which is two and one fourth, to figure out how much he still has. So let me model this out with a little drawing just to make it make sense. So one whole hour, two whole hours, three whole hours, four whole hours, five whole hours, and six whole hours. Okay, that's what he's working on. So far he's completed two, so one, two, and one fourth. Okay, so let's see how much he still has. Let's count the holes. He has one whole hour that still needs to go, two whole hours that he still needs to go, three whole hours that he still needs to go, and that is the end of our holes. So three whole hours, and then here we have fourths. We have one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. So he still has three and three fourths hours to babysit, which would be this one right here, determined by which expression? The subtraction expression, the addition expression, or the multiplication expression? Which one? Subtraction, right? We did it right here. So what we would do in this kind of case, because this would be on a computer-based test, what you would do is click these little arrows right here to drop down that menu. And in that menu, you would select or click the answer like the ones that we have circled. So again, you drop it down, you select it, and then usually what it will do is populate the answer there. It might not, but it'll at least show you which answer you're choosing, okay? All right, so if you need to make any corrections on that, you totally can. If you actually subtracted this a different way, but you arrived at the answer of three and three fourths hours, 
that is cool too, as long as it makes sense to you. There's more than one way to work out a problem like this. So go ahead and pause the video, make sure you have all your notes, and then let's close out this video. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the link somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good, it's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, or more confident with something, you've got to put in the practice. You've got to take time in your day, intentional time, to throw down your very best effort. That is how you get better. And I want you to know that I totally believe in you, and I will see you next time, world changers. Bye!